Let's go ahead and actually start recording this verse. Uh, I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to rename this track by hitting Command R. And I'm just going to call it Vox. That's just for housekeeping. And I'm also going to load up. I just hit Command F to do a search. I'm going to load up the virtual mix rack from Slate Digital. They have some things I like to record with. So I'm going to load them up and use this vocal recording preset. One, two. Gives me a little more volume, sounds better in my ear. And let's go ahead and start recording this verse. Now, back in the day, I would have a bunch of tracks for my vocal recording. So I could go from track to track and fill in bits and pieces as I need. Ableton Live 11 introduced a really amazing feature called, it's really comping, but they call it take lanes. Um, and basically, you can record all of your takes on one track. And then you have control of which pieces of each take you want to use. So to illustrate that, let's not even get rid of the little test vocal that we had here. Let's just go back to the beginning of this track and record another vocal. And it's going to record right on top of this test vocal. My people don't get funny style contracts. I send the bread. I ask for proof for you in the service. They send your head. It's easy shit, honestly. So let's stop there. And just for shits and giggles, let's record it one more time in a different cadence so I could really illustrate this point. Slightly different cadence. We'll see. My people don't get funny style contracts. I send the bread. I ask for proof for you in the service. They send your head. All right, so we have technically three verses we have the original one that we recorded as a test we have the first real version that i recorded and we have this most recent version that i just recorded now those are three separate takes so if we want to view all of these takes you can't see them by default we're only seeing the last one that we recorded by default if we go here and right click we can hit show take lanes. I'm gonna force myself to use the keyboard shortcut because you should, that's how you get quick at this. Keyboard shortcut is command option U. And now I can see all three of the different takes that I did. Now, live is defaulting to playing the bottom one. That's what's reflected up here in this track. But if I wanted to hear that first test vocal I did, I can just click this icon and play back. My people don't get funny style contracts, I send the bread I ask for proof for you in the service, they send your head Dreams are infinite till you hit with that infrared That data scan change your man to digits and lead LCD 8K So it's cool because if you got everything in one take, great You have a couple of different takes you can audition And you can pick your best one and that's your vocal But let's say I liked parts of my first take Parts of my second take parts of my third take you can pick and choose which parts of this verse you want live to use so let me just go ahead and deselect this because it it's a little easier to see it that way um, let's say at the beginning here I like my demo version right let's say I got demoitis on that that test vocal that we did and I want to keep the first part of it I'm just going to highlight the first part of that vocal and hit enter and now live, when it plays back the verse, it's going to play back this section of the verse. And when it gets to the end of this selection here, it'll go down to this section of the verse. So uh, we did that blind. I don't know what that sounds like, but let's give it a listen. My people don't get funny style contracts. I send the bread. I ask for proof for you in the service. They send your head. Dreams are infinite. To now let's say I didn't like that one and I want to audition the second one. We can do that and just highlight this. Hit enter. Bread. I ask for proof for you in the service, they send your head. Now let's say I want to go back to that top one. Can do that. Hit enter. Dreams are infinite. I ask for proof for you in the service, they send your head. Dreams are infinite till you hit with that info. Super, super quick. Can actually get even quicker. If you hit B, you turn your cursor into a pencil tool, and then you can just draw in the sections that you want. So if I want to use that, and then that, and then a little bit of this, so on and so forth, we can do that. Now, for this verse, I'd probably just use one piece, but especially if you're new to recording, 
it makes it really easy to get a couple of passes down and then take the highlights of all of your passes. People frown on doing this when you're when you're dealing with hip hop a lot, but every other genre of music is perfectly fine with comping vocals. If you go to a pop session, an R and B session, a soul music session, it's not uncommon to see track after track after track of vocal comps because they're using the best pieces of the recordings to give you the best record. That's our goal here as artists. It's not to cater to our egos and get everything done in one take. If you can, great. But our goal is really to make the best music possible. So if you know you're going to do the best version of your performance by taking bits and pieces of each take, you should do that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. To that point, I'll show you one more thing about recording a verse. Um, so we recorded the first half of this verse. There's still a lot more to go. I would at this point want to punch in and continue things and punching in and live is super, super easy. Um, I could really open up another track and just do things that way, but I'd prefer to actually show you what punching looks like. So let's go ahead and hide our take lanes for the time being. Keep this simple. Let me zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to move this thing over. This is called the loop brace. And usually by default, whatever you set it to, if you enable looping in live, it'll just loop around that section. Okay. It's a really handy tool for writing, for producing, but it's also an indicator for punching in and punching out. Whenever I have a point where I want live to start recording my punch in, if I set the loop, brace to the beginning of that point that serves as an indicator of where live should start recording so let's so listen to this real quick it's easy shit honestly i want live to start recording me again right here so i could punch back into this verse so i set the loop brace right there and i'm also going to go up here and enable punching in and so now live no matter where i start this playback from it's not going to engage recording until it gets to this part here. So let me go further back. I'm going to enable recording and we'll just start to record the next part of this verse. One other thing I want you to look out for when I'm recording this punch in, watch where I start to rap. A lot of times people will punch in exactly on the next word that they're trying to record. And you really want to jump in a couple of words before so you can rap what yourself start to match the volume, match the tone. And then as you're recording, you're already in a rhythm and you sound like the original recording. Check it out. Lily, well, on a G, I corny is harmony, but my skill of real anomaly is easy shit, honestly. Prodigy said it best, it's the war going on. The posture in this preposterous performance is strong. Call the academy, shit is a firm tragedy, what happened? So if you notice, live didn't start the recording until we got to that punch in point. Everything beforehand is still that first verse. My skill of real anomaly is easy shit, honestly. Prodigy said it best, it's the war going on. So this basic back and forth is the way you want to approach recording a verse. Um, I'll go ahead and show the take lanes again just to further illustrate this. We've got, you know, a, a verse that we comp together in the beginning from a couple of different takes. We have the second half of this verse that we punched in. And I could even do the same process again. I could keep recording the second half of this verse and get a couple of different takes and then comp those all together. By the time you're done, you should have a full verse, maybe a hook, some ad libs. No matter what you're adding in your song, the recording, the capturing of these vocals pretty much all follows this format.